hi everyone welcome to jaro tech so in this video we're looking at the part two of the may june right um 2018 variant two so this is the um tax four of the document production okay so um obviously um in the previous video we've done database and now we can now conclude on the document production so the question is import the extract you have saved we have just done the extract right here we've done the extract and now um, this extra right here we've been able to run the queries for that you check my um, youtube channel for that um import the extra you've saved in step 24 into your fax sheet so let's open our fax sheet so it's right here um open the fax sheet okay okay um into your fax document as a table so we're going to import that extract we saved as a table after the paragraph which ends vacancy which are so i'm just going to copy this and right here on i'm going to right here on home i'm going to hit on editing find i'm going to paste this so okay so i'm going to hit on enter okay so uh I'm just going to hit on enter again and reduce it to six points that makes it easier for me since i'm importing a table okay that's fine okay so um after as a document as a table after the prag after the paragraph which ends so we're, we're opening that extract so um what we're going to do right now is we're going to open the extract and we're going to copy it copy and we're going to paste it on our fax sheet okay make sure the table fits within the column width okay let's make sure it fits within the column width um, Okay, so click on view, click on the grid lines. Okay. Yeah. The extra does not contain a title. No, there's no title on it. All required field and their labels are fully visible. Uh, no text is wrapped within the extract no the TA table style is applied to the extract okay so right here on home um, click on the drop down list and apply this Okay, I'm just going to let's see this. Okay, apply the T table to it. Okay, um, I 
I just have to check what was given as a table style. Okay. Okay, I'm coming to check, modify. Oh, serve Times New Roman. Okay, so says is Times New Roman 12 left single Said no text. Let's go down to find it. Text is swap within the extract. Okay. Um, Okay, so I think we can do something here. I'm just going to enlarge this a bit so we can just use our discretion to work on this. Okay. All right, so yeah. Whew, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, yeah, it, it just came out, right? So, yeah. Usually, because it's always an issue because they said no text is wrapped within, and if there's a text wrapped within, then um, that becomes an issue. Spell check and proofread the work, and uh, make sure that tables, chart, lists are not split over the two columns. So let's check. Okay, um, the lists are not split, yes, the charts are not split as well, okay, I think I see this, um, let me see if this affects, um, Okay. Nope, that's fine. Okay. Um. Okay, there are no windows or offense, and we have taken that out. Obviously, there were some fields, um, some subheadings that were left alone, and that has been done. There are no blank pages. So this is um, three pages, so they're not blank pages. The house styles have been followed. Spacing, all items is consistent. Um, we're going to save the document using the file name and format used in step one, which is the fact sheet. And we can just verify in step one. Yes. And uh, where are we here? Okay, sorry, yeah, so this is, okay, now print the documents, okay, make sure that your name, center number, candidate number are on the document, so this will be print out too, but do I have a printer too already? Nope, I don't. So I'm going to have my printout too here. I'm going to print the document. This is going to be my printout too. Okay, so if I print 
and um, we can actually check here as well this gives you an idea so print okay uh, just want to be sure so it's complete printer one printer two three four five six yes okay so i think we've answered this question in the part one so we're not going to look at it again so you could actually um check for this okay Uh, evaluating your overall effect of IT on potential employment for this apprentice um, of creation of new jobs and the likes of that so you can actually check that I think it's the math scheme here so um, reductions in manual work increase in job relating to you know so we've talked about it so um, so yes I think we're done we've completed the part two of it so please um, yeah thank you so much and please do want to subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, practice along with the videos. They're going to be very great help. Bye.